Western Iowa Tech here today, and we're going to do a quick comparison on a couple different brands of torque wrenches, and I'm going to show you how to set this machine up. We can do 25 to 250 foot pounds on this one. We got Lexi and Brent here, and if you guys hold your torque wrenches up there, we've got your Harbor Freight brand, which is a extremely cheap, economical brand of this. That's all I'm going to say. And we have our Snap-on, our brand name, a preferred one here, whatnot. But what we're going to be able to do is actually check them out, because this is actually Brent's second one. He's had, uh, his first one was off by, what, about 10 foot-pounds at 60 foot-pounds? 11? Uh, that'd be grossly over torque. So uh, go ahead and focus back here. Let's show you our machine. And this is pretty cool here. We can hit a test button here. Then we have different choices, electronic, screwdriver dial. We have a click style torque wrench, and we're going to do a quick check, and now we can choose what we want. Now, I believe you guys set yours at 50? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do 50 pounds. You can see that, and you can change this to the value if you want that to be something else, newton meters or whatnot. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. If I wanted to, I could put the serial number of the tool actually in here to really... Uh, uh, data log what's going on there. I'm good with that. And then I could put the operator ID so that you could log a technician or whatnot. We're going to go ahead and test. Lexi, why don't you step up first? Go ahead. Okay, we're set at 50. Now I like to do things multiple times to get a multiple verification. Go ahead and do it again. Extremely accurate. So we'll take that one off. We'll grab the Harbor Freight. And Brent's going to pop up. Go for it. Uh oh. Try it again. Just try and go normal speed, maybe a little bit faster. Okay, try again. That one. Now, see if you can duplicate it. Because this is a new tool and getting used to it. It's over again. Try again. Okay. Now, that's the exact same situation we had on the first wrench. Are you with me? you mind if I try? Sure. So, I'll hop in here. This isn't my tool. I don't know what it's going to feel like. should be pretty consistent no matter what. But Okay. I'm getting 60 every time. Okay. To prove a point, I'm going to... Move it down and pull it back up and make sure I verified it was at 50 before. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set it to 40 this time. I'm going to set the tool to 40 and we'll see what happens. This is a little hard to read here. I should probably use foot pounds. That would be a good uh, start. Okay, I'm at 35. Okay, I'm at 40. We'll see what I get. Ready? I got 50. So that's what's great about this. Now, the other thing, just so you know for the video and for you users, we always undo that torque wrench too. We're not, can I see yours? We're not relying off this one wrench. That'd be a bad idea. We've put, uh, you know, multiple and multiple of these wrenches on here, all kinds of different brands. We've had some Harbor Freight ones that have worked. We've had Craftsman, we've had Mac, we've had Snap-on, we've had numerous pieces of equipment and we set it to 60 it, or 50 or whatever we're trying to test, it has worked. So I fully trust that the calibration of this is good. What we know today is we have that wrench is grossly different. Now to finish this off, to do a true what we called ABA testing, we tested this as our first variable, right? This is the first, or excuse me, our first uh, comparison we wanted to do. We went to something else, got data we didn't like. What we need to do is put this one back in, and I'm, I'm an even different operator than Lexi here, and go ahead and do this one, and I'm getting that same number. So that showed that two different operators can produce the same result, and it's a very thorough test. Does that make sense? So unfortunately, calibration on that is still off. Uh, since we haven't done this in a video, something to show too is that where you hold the torque wrench is super important to the number here. For me to, oh, I got lucky, I got close there. If I hold it in the wrong spot, it's going to be grossly over. And if I hold it back here, if this were long enough, this one just seems to work pretty well no matter what I do. <laughs> That's lucky on this one. 
but you're intended to grab the handle where you're supposed to. Some even have like a form little handle. You don't want to be out here and hanging off or you take the risk depending on your brand of being off. So that's it for torque today and calibrating your tool to make sure it's going to do what you want it to do. Go ahead.